Hi there, it's Donna from Tappy Crafting. I really hope that you are going to be able to hear me because I've got a fan going at full speed next to me. It's uh, one of the hottest days of the year um, and I've had to come to the just the latest part of the day where it's just as cool as possible in the house, but we are we are melting here in, um, here in Mid Wales at the moment. Anyway, what I want to show you today is a fun fold card using Bloom Where You're Planted. So this is in the annual catalogue, page 131. Um, some new 12 by 12 papers. I've used a couple of these before um, and I've got some projects coming out using, um, I think I've already done a fussy cut one with the plant pots um, and the plants that I really like, but I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to be doing a book binding fold card. I haven't got one to show you. Um, I've been so busy with work and I finished work today for the summer. Um, and I'm filming way ahead at the moment. So I think you get to see this on something like the 8th of, um, 7th or 8th of August. Um, so I'm filming ahead just because I've got so much to get through because I've been so busy. So I don't have an image to show you. I don't have a card to show you, sorry. I will try and get back the um, ability to be able to speak properly. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with a card, a piece of A4 card. I'm just going to slice that in half at four and an eighth on the short side. Now, if you're working in um, another measurement of A4, I think in the US you have eight and a half. Is it eight? Yeah, eight and a half. And then half of that is four and a quarter. Here in the UK, A4 is a bit different. And I'm going to trim that down to 11 and a half. Now, this um, the project that I'm doing here is part of Share It on a Sunday, which I do every week with Crafty Karen Designs and Vicky Lou Designs. And the theme for this week um, is case each other. Um, so I am casing Karen and she did a book binding fold card on her YouTube channel and on her blog. Um, I can't remember exactly how long ago that was and I really liked it. So I wanted to have a go. And so this is what I'm doing. So I'll leave a link to Karen's YouTube channel in the description bar. So on the long side of this piece of card, this piece of card is 11 and a half. We are going to score at five and three quarters and at six and three quarters. That's all the scoring you have to do. How easy peasy is that? Don't put your trimmer too far away, so we're going to be using that for um, to cut up some DSP. So we will fold that in half like that and burnish, and burnish that. And then we'll fold this back on itself. But we will fold that there because what this does is it will open like that. Now I want this to sit so that we make sure that we've got these flowers at the top there. So I'm probably going to slice maybe about three quarters of an inch off there and to make it fit in there. But first, what I want to do is have another layer on there. Now I need that layer to measure. So my card here is four and three quarters by four and an eighth. So I'll take a piece of, this is soft succulent, and this will measure four inches by four and five eighths. We'll have two pieces like that. So four inches by four and five eighths. And another piece of card measuring four and five eighths. We should be able to get two cards made out of two pieces of card, but you might have to change up your uh, DSP. Depends how much of it you've got. 
So that's going to sit on there like that. And then that one will sit in there like that. Now we will eventually glue that bit down, but we're going to put some ribbon on it first. So I've got two pieces of this, one to go on the front and one to go on the inside. Now if you didn't want one to go on the inside and you just want to put your sentiment on there, that is absolutely fine. So it can sit like that and you've got your sentiment in the middle. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just use that piece for a second card. So that's not quite what Karen did on hers. This is not about just straight copying. So this piece is four and an eighth, or as I say, by four and five eighths. So I'm just going to trim a bit off of here. I can use the just the gap in there to see where I'm going to cut there. So that's actually five inches. So what I'm going to do is then trim at the bottom here and that is going to be at three and seven eighths. I don't know exactly, I think what I'm going to use that for. I've got an idea in my head. Uh, by four and a half. show you what this is going to do. So that piece of card was four inches. Yeah, just had to get in my head there what was going on. Um, so that actually, oh dear, that's four and five eighths by four inches and then that is four and a half by three and seven eighths. I honestly know what I'm doing and I'm going to stick that on there like that and I'm just going to use wet glue. I'm hoping my wet glue is nice and happy because it has been blisteringly hot in here today. Oh yep, it's happy. Let's get that on there like that. And I just use the bone folder just to disperse that glue on there. Otherwise it just, you can actually see it through um, the card sometimes or through the paper. And then we'll stick that on there like that. And then what you've got is a nice border all the way around. Get it nice and even just before that glue goes off. And again, disperse that glue like that. Now, I was thinking what I was going to do on this piece. I did think about putting that there. And now I'm not so sure. And I might put that there. So we will get a piece of this card. So this measures an inch by um, sorry, this gap here is an inch by four and an eighth. So what we're going to do is trim a piece of su succulent and that is going to be four inches, which is what that is, by seven eighths. Now, sometimes people craft along with me, which is really nice. Or you might be watching and think, I'm trying to write the measurements down. Don't worry about writing the measurements down. Um, they're all in my blog. So seven eighths of an inch by four inches. This scrap piece of card will measure uh, three quarters of an inch. Actually, I want, I want this side of it. Three quarters of an inch by three and seven eighths. is three and seven eighths. And we're going to stick that on there like that. And again, we've got that nice border all the way around. 
So they've got a slightly thinner piece, which I should attempt not to drop as I try to put it on my card, which is what I did on a video the other day. Do the best you can to get an even border all the way around that. And then I'm going to put that on there like that. Some of that design is just going to get covered up um, because I'm going to put some ribbon on that. I might put some ribbon on that. I'm thinking now maybe I might not. We'll have a look in a minute, see what it looks like. I'm going to put that on there like that. And again, nice even border all the way around. Now you decide what you want to do in the middle. Now I'm definitely going to put that on there. And then what I think I'm going to do is decorate a piece of whisper white card or basic white card, and just put some stamping on it. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do with the ribbon. So just a reminder, this measures four and five eighths by four inches. And I'm just going to put that right in the corner there. Let's get some white card. So here's my whisper white. I didn't have a piece of scrap small enough. So I think what I'm going to do again is just have the same border as I've got here. So this is going to measure four and a half by three and seven eighths. So four and a half. By three and seven eighths. And then what we're going to do with this, we're going to put a sentiment on here and we'll put a little bit of stamping. And I'm going to stamp in the evening ever, evening evergreen and the soft succulent. So I'm going to use the Daisy Lane stamp set and stamp this fern on here because we've got enough we've got enough cards on there and probably the fern will just go into the corner, maybe both corners. And then I'm going to be using the best year stamp set and I'll put a happy birthday sentiment. I might put that on the front and then maybe this in the middle. Haven't decided yet. See what happens. So I just need to find my block. And that might not be big enough for my, oh yes it is, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is just grab some, just some scrap paper. And then I think I'm going to stamp this. Oh, now I can't decide. I'm going to stamp it in the soft succulent. That was a decision. So I think I'm going to put that here. And I don't mind that it goes off the side at all. absolutely fine and then we'll have another one that soft succulent is actually quite dark I'm glad I went for that and not the evening evergreen and then I'm going to put this one here uh, there sometimes you just need to put it down stop dithering get it stamped okay and then what I will do is using the Evening Evergreen, which is a much, much darker stamp, it's almost black. Is I'm going to take the Wishing Your Best Year Yet. Just 
going to check the stamp on that. Yeah, I thought this might be a bit inky. And then without getting my head in the way of the camera, I'm just going to absolutely pray that that is straight. That could be straighter, but that's because I can't get my head over it. And then you can write your message on there. I wasn't doing a video and I'd have loads of time I would probably flip that over stamp my ferns back on there and put a straighter sentiment but as it is it'll be fine so let's just get some more liquid glue on there it's starting to get a bit warm and it's not happy come on glue it'll be fine I don't honestly sit here talking to my adhesive. I will put that on there like that and I'm going to get my bone folder. And do that. Now I still want to put something on the front. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to put on the front yet. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is put a ribbon here. Let's see what it looks like and then we can make a decision. So let's have a look and see what I've got. So these are all the in colour ribbons and I was thinking of putting that on there and I think that's what I'm going to do just because it matches my card and my DSP. There's the soft succulent one. Oh, which is better? Definitely that one. I prefer the soft succulent. So let's get some of that off. how much we need that should be fine always end up cutting off more than I need cut it diagonally so it doesn't fray now those of you that watch me regularly know I do not like ribbon or bows actually I don't mind ribbon it's bows I'm not very good at so let's see how we get on Straight away, I don't like that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is put that there and tie a little ribbon on it. So I'm just going to do this with a piece of, just with a piece of tape, just because that's the easiest way of doing it. So just a teeny tiny bit of tape I'm just going to stick that on there and the reason I can get away with that is because we're going to glue this down. So I'm going to put that on there. That's what it looks like. I just think the soft succulent is just so much nicer. I'm going to line that up before I glue it down or before I stick it down. Sure, you've got it how you want it. Just check that's in the middle, it is a little bit of tape. Let's take that down like that. So that's what we have there, and then with the bit that we had left over. Now we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I'm just going to do a knot. There we go. It's a bit of a bow going on there. It could be better. It could be a whole lot worse. And then I'm going to trim those and I'm going to put my bow on there like that. So let's just trim them. And 
put that on there like that. Definitely need to go on a bow making course, without a doubt. Just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my bow. Let's hope that's enough on there. And stick that down. Now the next thing I'm going to do, just while I'm holding this little bit of bow down, is I'm going to put a sentiment in the middle and I think I'm going to use a punch. And I'm going to get a scrap of this evening evergreen and then put it onto the front of this. So I think I can let go of that now. No, that doesn't want to stick, thanks very much. So I need my mini glue dots. So I've just got my big box of adhesive. There are my mini glue dots. I'm surprised anything is sticking to anything in this heat. And mini glue dots are the stickiest thing in the world, by far. So, pick them up. Oh, now my finger's stuck to one. No, I managed to get rid of that. Put the glue dot on the back of the bow. Try and leave the glue dot on the back of the bow and then press it down. That's better. Now we need a scrap of, I'm going to use a scrap of Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to use the Taylor Tag Punch for this. So just punch that out. And with a pair of scissors, just eyeball it and cut from the middle up to the other middle. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get my other piece of um, that bit of scrap whisper white that I had left. And I'm going to use Happy birthday to you. Put that on my block. Get my evening evergreen. So I've got that stamped onto some white. Get my punch and hope that fits. Oh, just line it up, and then when you're happy with how it's lined up, punch it. And then what we're going to do is stick each of these to that white piece like that. So, what I do is just get my glue. And then stick one of those there like that so just stick it down and before it sets turn it round and just get it into position like that and then you do the same with the other one so a bit of wet glue on there Get the other part, stick it down like that, quickly flip it round. Oh, that one's that one's spot on. Didn't have to move that, perhaps just shift it up a tad. We literally only have a couple of seconds, that's gone. That's it, that's set. And then what I'm going to do using stamping dimensionals is just put that on the front like that. So let's, I was looking for my tweezers, but can't find those because my desk is a mess. 
that's the first thing I'm going to do when I get up tomorrow is sort out this desk before it gets too warm. So just one at either side, one at the top, one at the bottom, one in the middle and that will be more than enough. You know me, I don't like to overuse mini dimensionals. I treat them as if there is a national shortage of them. And I'm just going to just pop that in the middle there. Like that. I've got one last thing to do. I just need to stick that down and I'm going to do that with tear and tape. You could use wet glue. Um, or um, even what I call a dispenser adhesive. I can't get on with them. I make a right mess of them. Now, as I said, all of the measurements are on my blog. Or you can craft along. Hopefully you've been crafting along with me. Um, also on my blog are the links to Karen and Victoria's blogs. This is part of Share It on a Sunday, where we share each other's work every Sunday. Just a really lovely thing that we do in our team. So please go and have a look and see what they've made. And I'm just going to push that down and there is our finished card and it will sit quite nicely like that so there you go I hope you like it I hope that inspires you to have a go at it super easy and as I said one sheet each of the soft succulent and the evening evergreen will make two cards all you need is some DSP to go on that. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back again soon with another project. See you then. Bye bye.